Welcome to Seasons of Grace, your daily dose of inspiration. As we journey through the great fast, we'll be reading selections from Father Jack Custer's book, Back to the Garden, A Lenten Journey Through Genesis. Tuesday of the third week of the great fast. We read from the book of Genesis, chapter 7, verses 1 through 5. And the Lord said to him, Go in you and all your house into the ark. For you I have seen just before me in this generation. Of all clean beasts, take seven and seven, the male and the female. But of the beasts that are unclean, two and two, the male and the female. Of the fowls also of the air, seven and seven, the male and the female. That seed may be saved upon the face of the whole earth. For yet a while, and after seven days, I will reign upon the earth forty days and forty nights, and I will destroy every substance that I have made from the face of the earth. And Noah did all things which the Lord had commanded him. Consider the construction of the ark as yesterday's passage from Genesis described it. The ark was man-made, but in careful conformity to a divine plan. God gave precise details about materials and design, but finding the material and building the ark were left to Noah. Such creative collaboration with God calls for the best from us, perhaps even revealing virtues we did not know we possessed. Noah built a virtual world inside the ark in the space of a week. His creativity mirrors God's original creation of the world in a single week. In his obedience to God's commands, Noah shows us how the image and likeness of God in which we were all created can be acted out in our lives. In two other places, the Bible notes that a human being built something entirely as the Lord had commanded. The first is when Moses constructs the tabernacle, the portable temple where the Lord was present for his people throughout the forty years of the Exodus. The second is the Jerusalem temple built by King Solomon. These were complex and sacred places, places where God promised to be present for his people, places to which the people came to worship, and places that represented something of heaven on earth. The obedience and creativity of the people who constructed and maintained them also contributed to making them images of a renewed and restored world. A world where God's will is done on earth as in heaven. A world that represents something of heaven on earth. This is why God makes a distinction between clean and unclean animals in the ark. At the end of this journey, there will be worship and sacrifice of some of the clean animals. For reflection, where do I collaborate creatively with God in my family life, professional life, hobbies, and pastimes? Am I using the creativity that is part of my image and likeness to God? In all these areas, how do I know whether I am doing all that the Lord commands me? How can I make sure I give back to God the best I have to offer in all the ways he invites me to collaborate with him? How can my Lenten practices of fasting, prayer, charity, and forgiveness teach me to collaborate more creatively with God? How can these practices help bring healing and renewal to the world in which I live my daily life? Thank you for listening to Seasons of Grace. If you would like to send this episode to a friend or listen again, please visit godwithusradio.org. You can also find previous and future episodes on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and almost everywhere podcasts are available. A special thank you to Eastern Christian Publications for their permission to present Back to the Garden in this format.